Hi, I'm Wendy Rahmat and welcome to another edition of Indigenous Bites. It is mango season in the Caribbean right now. And of course, I'm standing in front of my Julie mango tree. Well, you know, there are about 20 different types of mangoes on the island. And we don't really have a mango plantation to go to or a mango farm. What really happens is people usually have a mango tree of some sort in their backyard or close to them or they get gifted with a basket full of mangoes or a bag full of mangoes from their friends, their family or of course you can buy them from the vendors on the road stand or at, the, uh, at your local market. But today I've got a real treat ahead for you because we are going to be making an upside down mango cake. Now mangoes are synonymous on this island with curry mangoes, we make it um, into mango salsa, we really love to make chow, I think that's our indigenous way of enjoying mangoes, mango chow, because here on this island we love to chow everything, of course we put it into preserves, we've got red mango, um, those wonderful sour, sweet, hot um, condiments that we use, they eat as a snack, but today I'm going to do something a little different, on the sweet side, I'm going to make you an upside down mango cake and of course um, you've got a lot of mangoes you can make mango sorbet you can make mango ice cream the list goes on and on but let's go inside now and prepare some of these wonderful mangoes that I just picked I'm going to start my upside down mango sponge cake and of course this is a take on an upside down pineapple cake which is a very traditional dessert in the Caribbean and in Trinidad and Tobago as well. So first up I'm going to choose about three half ripe mangoes and why half ripe mangoes? I think half ripe mangoes work really well when you're baking because they hold their shape, they don't like get mushy and of course uh, my favorite are Julie mangoes because they do hold their shape and they really are quite delicious. So I'm going to peel these up. And then after that we just want to cut them into slices. Now of course if your mangoes were a little too ripe you're going to see that it's going to start to get mushy on you. So you really don't want that to happen. So once you've done one slice, one side, you want to cut that off the seed. So then you want to keep the integrity of the piece of mango. If you went and you sort of you left it whole and try to peel the other side, of course, you're going to get a mushy sort of um, <laughs> slice on the other side. So it's a little tricky, but it works. You just have to have a lighter touch and try not to squeeze into the mango too much. Of course, there are many other indigenous ways we enjoy mangoes on this island. And that is one of the biggest ways is mango chow and of course curry mango. So I'm going to place my mangoes in a concentric pattern at the bottom of a spring foam pan. This is the same pan that you'd use to make a cheesecake. But what I've done before is I've wrapped the bottom in some aluminum foil so that it doesn't get, um, in case there's any leakage once the cake goes into the oven, it sort of gets caught in the foil. I've also lined the base of the pan with some parchment and of course I've floured and um, greased and floured the sides as well. Okay, so if you weren't living in the Caribbean and you weren't privileged to have delightful fresh mangoes to put into this upside down cake, you can also substitute peaches in the summertime. And if you were in the Caribbean and you wanted some other options for Caribbean fruit, you could use delightful mami sipo. That is a wonderful forest fruit that has the um, uh, texture of a, a peach and a, 
an apricot it's quite a delicious fruit and you can use guavas but you'll have to cook those ahead of time and of course pineapples well, there are lots of different options for fruits in our upside down cake so I've arranged my mangoes beautifully so the next step I'm going to take a few limes and I'm going to cut this and what I want to do is just simply squeeze the lime juice over my um, mangoes so that's going to give it a lovely tanginess mangoes and lime always go well together huh? So the next step in this, I'm going to caramelize some sugar and that's going to go onto the mangoes before the batter goes in there. So I've got some water, I've got some sugar, I've also got some orange bitters, which I'm going to throw a good few splashes in here and that's going to give a wonderful orange flavor to this whole um, caramel. We've got a gorgeous amber color here so my caramel is just ready to go onto my mangoes so I'm going to lightly pour this over the mangoes okay so first up for the cake for this mango upside down cake I'm going to cream some butter in my mix master and I'm creaming that up with some granulated sugar. So that's gonna go until it gets nice and creamy and light. So my um, butter and sugar mixture is nice and creamy, it's light. I'm gonna start to add my eggs. One at a time we're adding about three eggs to this recipe. And we've got to make sure we beat well between each addition. Okay, so the final step of this upside down cake batter, I've got some old papers flour here. I'm adding some baking powder to that. And also I'm going to add about a teaspoon or two of uh, ground cardamom and this really goes beautifully with mangoes so we've got the lime and we've got the orange bitters into our caramel which is going to flavor up the mangoes beautifully and we also got a good bit of cardamom in here and that is going to give this batter a beautiful um, aromatic and very soft flavored spice it's one of the very exotic spices that I absolutely love so I'm gradually going to add my um, flour mixture I'm smelling all that beautiful cardamom in there. It's truly an amazing spice. It's so exotic and it's just so wonderful. And it's so great in both um, savory and sweet dishes. This goes into about a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes. So here's my mango upside down cake. It's beautifully baked out of the oven. So we're just going to un. Um, and pan this now. I'm just going to take a knife and run that around there and put a plate on top and flip this over. Take our foil off. So 
And now for the unveiling or the moment of truth. Oh my goodness me, look at how beautiful that looks. The mangoes have maintained their integrity because they were amazing Julie mangoes. And this is just about, mm, I can't wait to taste it, so I'm gonna cut a little piece and put it on a plate and we're gonna see how that looks. Mm -hmm.